Boom. Also a sous chef. Well, nowadays I'm the sous chef <laughs> when it comes to pesto making. She taught me how to make this pesto and it's pretty bomb. And now I'm kind of like the master at the pesto. Super bomb. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's so, so good. we figured it'd be fun to share like our pesto recipe. Like every time we share a pesto, like we'll bring it to parties or family dinners it evaporates really fast and usually everyone wants the recipe so i hope you guys love it um it's super easy to make which is nice and it's super flavorful and it's really yummy on everything so um well pretty yeah, much like, everything <laughs> it's like you can get bored of like salad dressings or i don't know like how do you eat your veggies and like switch it up and not like dip in like ranch dressing or something yeah, like that. Yeah, it's a like, healthy, healthy option for like a dip or something with lots of flavor. So let's get going. For those of you who are joining us and actually going to make it, hopefully you can keep up. If not, you can just rewind after we'll like post the video on to, onto the, um, you know. Yeah, and you'll see in the past post and also on Facebook on the description, you have like the ingredients. So it's pretty simple. It's like pretty simple recipe. Yeah? Super like, simple. Even Wesley can make it. Yeah, so <laughs> our favorite nuts are macadamia nuts. So we got some mac nuts. Hun, do you want to leave the show? No, you. Okay. I'm you got it. You're, you're the best at this. Wesley is going to be our basil man. Did you want to say hi, Wesley? Hi. Here, Wesley, hi. I'll, get the, I'll get the basil leaves and you throw them in. Want to put them in there? It's like, yeah. So we put about like, what is that, about a cup it's of about, mac nuts? Yeah. Maybe just shy of. And you can use any nuts if you don't like macadamia nuts. Um, we've made it with walnuts, pumpkin seed, uh, cashew. We like pine nuts, so we're going to use some pine nuts. And you can kind of mix too. Sometimes I put hemp seeds in there. Like really any kind of... Sometimes you, you even put like parsley and yeah, sometimes you like little salt, any type of herbs really. Yeah, if we have parsley, we'll throw in all our parsley. We do like a whole thing of basil. In this case, we have two. So yeah, basil's our favorite. I think it makes it the most delicious. And we kind of just wing it too. It's not the sort of thing you have to like follow the recipe to a T. Except for maybe with the salt content and the oil content, um, that is probably the most important thing to um, make it how you like. So yeah. And once you get good at it, you can like just do it by taste. Like yeah, yeah we we never do a recipe. We just kind of throw it all in and then taste it and then adjust it. So you can follow our recipe. We post we'll post it on there. So um, you can follow it if you want, if you're more of a recipe, like if that's what you need. I'm definitely more of a recipe guy. I like cannot but follow a recipe to save my life. Like Bethany is I like, will intentionally just go, like I actually made a cake the other day and that was, I did not follow the recipe, but it turned out good. So. Very impressive. Yeah. It was a carrot cake and it was insane. It's super, good. super fluffy and moist and like, but yeah, I like, it was like nails on a chalkboard to me, like when she was like, I'm just going to wing this. And I'm like, no, you have to follow a recipe. There's a certain way you do things. So but, I'm going to put, if you like it spicy, you can put a little cayenne. That's super optional. Adam likes spice. Wesley probably doesn't like spicy, so I'm just putting a tiny sprinkle in. Yeah, this is the way we get our boys to eat veggies. Like, and in the morning too, like, you don't always have to have a sweet 
breakfast. Like it's, yeah. you always tend to have like pancakes and cereal and all this, but in the morning you can have like, the boys love pesto toast. Yeah, we'll do eggs. pesto on toast with an egg. Or I love doing like baked zucchini with pesto on it. That's so good. We'll do yeah. seaweed wraps with like salad, um, protein, some sort of protein, and then pesto on there. We probably and that's make, a hit. We probably make pesto way too much. Yeah, we eat a lot of pesto. But it's <laughs> it's so good to put on everything. When we travel, we miss our it. pesto. Yeah, so. we're obsessed with it. Yeah. So here we got uh, raw organic honey. And we love putting just like a, not even probably, a tablespoon, probably like, a couple yeah, probably teaspoons a in yeah. there. It got like crystallized. Mm. It brings out the flavor. When, or sometimes when I make it, I'll just put like a tablespoon of raisins in there instead of honey. What's so this? it's kind of a random thing to think like, why would you put raisins in a pesto? But I just like that tinge of sweet. For sure. And then... So we ran out of fresh garlic, but we happen to have some crushed garlic already. Um, if you have like fresh, I'd we'd probably do like two to three cloves of garlic in there. Yeah, so definitely fresh is best. And fresh garlic is so good. Fresh garlic is way better for you than just plain like cooked garlic. So health benefits, fighting viruses and sickness. Yeah. It's and awesome. it just makes it yummy. And is there any questions, anyone? It's hard to see. Yeah. Alright, here we got some sea salt. That we use, uh, it's oh. called like real salt, it's super good. It's like- kind of messed it up. Oh, oh no! How do you know that? <laughs> You're good, you got it. I don't know how to make uh -oh. it go back. Don't worry. How, how about you add the salt and then we'll get this back on. So, we're gonna add salt. Sorry, I'm really not technically savvy. <laughs> Wes is- yeah. He's like, so, give me the salt. We like real Redmond's real salt. It's pretty good salt. Um, but we just like sea salt. Try to avoid like salts like Morton salt. The you want to use real salt yeah, 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 yeah. from um, an ancient Hi. sea. And it's so much better for you. And you don't have to worry about eating salt. Wesley, we don't want to do too much salt or else it'll taste yucky. No more salt. No. I'm totally just kind of winging the oil. I'd say we do about like three fourths cup, like pretty oily. Yeah, we like a lot of oil yeah. in there. Olive oil, un, like olive oil is best to be eaten not cooked. Well, so yeah. to eat it raw in the pesto is good for you. And um, sometimes we'll even throw some olives in there just to like mix it up or sun-dried tomato. Sometimes we'll do this recipe without basil and instead we'll do sun-dried tomato, which is really oh, good yeah. too. Thanks, Wesley. Yeah. You wanna yeah. press the button? Yeah. And if you don't have like a, a food processor, we have actually made it in a Vitamix before and used the plunger to kind of, you know, get it all mixed up together. And it sometimes burns out the motor, but you just gotta be careful. Yeah. And then, let's see, yeah. I'll be right back. All right. Oh, yeah, you can see the boys love it. He's already diving in. Is it yummy, Wes? Is it good? All right, check it out. And you notice we didn't use any cheese, like all the, Usually find like store-bought pesto as cheese or Parmesan or... The bummer thing about store-bought pesto, I mean, we eat a little cheese, but we don't eat like a ton of cheese. Um, but it's super good without cheese. And store-bought pesto often has like junk oils in it that aren't good for you. So it's nice if you can get a good quality olive oil um, that is not, you know, not some weird unhealthy oil. Um, there's a lot of weird oils in our food nowadays, and I think that's a huge cause of um, 
a lot of disease. So, ooh, I want to bite. Pesto action. Is it good, Les? Do you like it? So good. He's just licking it off the cucumber. <laughs> Whatever. It's good, huh? Yeah. yeah. And if it's not like salty enough or whatever, you can just add more, but you kind of nailed it. Yeah. Super like good. It. And you can also like kind of make it uh, the consistency like like a little more chunky or a little more pureed. There's the action. You. So I hope you guys like this recipe and gets you fired up on eating healthier. It's super flavorful and good for you. And um, yeah, so from our favorite recipe to you. And join us for a workout tomorrow morning. We're right? gonna work out tomorrow morning on the live. We're gonna be in, the, in at our gym. 8 a.m. Hawaii time. So you can look on your iPhone clock and do the math. <laughs> yeah, yeah. All right, guys. Aloha, everyone. Thanks for joining. Mmm, ummy, huh? Should we bring some down to brother and see if he wants some? Download video, click download. And look, it says we can share to Instagram. Try that. <laughs>